Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are very dressed up. The Gin Fluencers UK. Because <laughs> he's not dressed up. Anyway, the gin we're trying today is Thunderflower Fireship Navy oh, Shrimp. Yeah, I thought you were going to say something <laughs> else then. <laughs> now, who are Thunderflower? Who are they? Well, they are an amazing little distillery from Devon that were established in 2017 by Annika and Dominic. The name comes from the old Devonshire legend that says the tiny white flat thunder flowers that grow on want? the thatched cottages, what thatched hell? cottage roofs yeah. can ward off both lightning and witchcraft. Ooh, Betty. This fireship navy strength gin is not only just a stronger version <clears> of their <throat> thunder flower, but they wanted to make something different. Ooh. But at its heart is the thunder flower base. That one. The name comes from fire ships, which were used in ancient battles where a small ship was set alight and then sent amongst the other ships, amongst the enemy, yep, yeah, and it would set them all on fire. Oh. Not, no, I think that doesn't seem very efficient. No, I think that's actually a great idea. Anyway, <laughs> Thunderflower Gin is made in the London Dry Method with botanical flavours extracted by vapour infusion. Only Dartmoor spring water is added to the final spirit, which we said before in a previous video. We did. What's botanicals? The botanicals include juniper, angelica root, coriander seeds, cassia bark, pink, pink peppercorn, pink peppercorn, cubib, calamus root, allspice, licorice, cardamom, lemon peel, orange peel, lemongrass, elderflower, heather, and marjoram. That's Margarine. a lot. No, ma <laughs> margarine. <laughs> it comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 58% Whoa. and costs 49 pounds. So one extra from Navy Strength. Whoa. Today, be making a gin and tonic using Cornish tonic water and garnishing with some orange. And as always, be trying to eat first. Right, you guys out there, since trying this oh. one, we actually went well, we actually went to uh, a, a, a Taste of the West Awards. So we were at a Taste of the West Awards, yeah. Taste of the West Awards down in Exeter. It was only about, well, whenever, we're, whenever this is going out, it was about two weeks ago, week and a half ago. And we, um, uh, we ran into Annika, purely by chance, and we dragged her onto our table. Yep, on our <laughs> table. We, we were with uh, Mother's Ruin um, 1751. Yep, we were indeed. And uh, yeah, it was... Uh, it was a, a, a fun event. I loved it. It was an amazing great event. Great food and great drink. Brilliant food. Yeah. And you got to try uh, some of the winners. So there was this homemade pie that came oh, out. Oh, that was lovely. The most amazing butter I've ever... Oh, and I'm telling you now, I, I've actually it. taken a photo of the label and I really want it shipped up to London. It was the best butter I've ever tasted in my life. We also Even met... Even better than the whipped butter we had on your birthday. We, we also um, had... Oh, well, met. Uh, Love Day, and they won an award. What there. lovely yeah. people! Love they Day were. Gin. We don't have we don't have it at the moment. We will be ordering it yep, to, to kind of give it a review as well. Um, but it was lovely. So so Craig from Mother's Ruin um, invited Anna over to our table because she was on a different table, and we had a fabulous time. But we won't tell you what kind of fabulous time we had until later on. Let's try their gin. That's true. Right. Let's try their fire ship. Fire. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah. bring you fire. <laughs> You're trying to be the prodigy, are you? No, no, that's um, something else. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get the sage straight away. Do you? Yes, I it's do. It's not in it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, do you know what? You had me worried then. <laughs> you actually had me worried. I thought. Hold on, I'm sure there's sage in it. No, I've got that wrong. There is sage in it, isn't there? I see what you mean, though. It's a, it's a, it Ooh. is a sagey, herby kind of feel. There's, mm. it isn't hot, but there's a vibrancy in the mouth. Now, I described this one as eating a cloud. I'm we as it is at the moment. Eating a thunderstorm. It is eating a cloud on steroids it's <laughs> this is exciting no I, I think I think it's like eating a thunder cloud that's what, what it is do you know what they should call it that thunder cloud thunder yeah whatever thunder cats <laughs> thunder 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 cats. where are we going with this video I don't know who would you be that you'd be panthro I, I've got to say I've never watched it 
I'd be Tiger, I think. It wasn't my thing. thing. It was not my thing. Back to the gin. Anyway. anyway. Um, yeah, the Thundercats Fundera. never did it for me. The Eye of Thundera. Really didn't do it for me. Neither Wiley did the Kit new and Wiley Cat. The new Schmoo was the worst cartoon ever Can made. Can we get back to the gin? No, if we're, if we're on that... Oh, we're, don't, if, no, if we're going Thundercats. Schnarf! Schnarf! <laughs> He'd be Schnarf. He, <laughs> so not your demographic. He he doesn't age. understand. But but our, our yeah our camera operative would be snarf. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to I the gym. No idea either. Right. Oh hold on. I've just noticed. So on the back of this, there's all those stickers again. So this is one Taste the mm. West Gold 2021. Oh. The Gin Guide Awards and the Spirit Business Master in there as well. You did that without your glasses. I know. You're uh, getting better at this. Like, yeah, it's that laser. Um, right, yeah, this this is amazing. It is, you, firstly, you can't tell it's 50, 58%. You get the warmth, you do get the warmth. There is a warmth in there. There, it is packed with flavor. It is absolutely packed with excitement. But it's still, it's fresh as well. Mm. It's really fresh. There's a load of flavor going on. It's very zingy. This smell. I'm loads of zings. Whatever this smell is, and there's only a handful of gins that have a similar airy type of flavor, uh, smell yeah. like this. It's a, it just feels like straight away you're outside. It's fresh, yeah. it's clean. I would like my house to smell like this. Oh. So I'm either going to sprinkle it around the place, <laughs> or we're going to we're going to put it in an atomizer. Yeah, or we're going to get everyone drunk. Or we're going to come and live in your house, and that's it, and have it smell like that. Let's put it in a tonic, because we've rambled on. Yeah, let's put it in a tonic. So let's give it a try. Cheers, Oscar. Cheers, Scott. Oh. See, that is amazing. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Yep. Yes. I'm sorry, I already know this one, so I know I like it. He even said, he said, like, when we kind of had a montage, he was like, this is even more like a thunderstorm or eating a cloud than that one. Yeah, that is more, that is more eating a cloud than the previous the, one. The, the feeling, the, the imagination you have if you grabbed a bit of clouds, put it in a bag, brought it down, put it in a glass and ate it. I don't know if makes one of those no big, sense. One of those big kind of dark grey ones though. Mm. Those big dark grey rumbling ones. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Maybe that's yeah. a business. We actually, the cloud had, out. we actually had such an amazing time. Um, oh. We went to Crockett's, didn't we? We did. So Exeter yeah. is, is interesting. It does sort of there's one street that sort of has all the bars on it. Yeah. Um, we That's had a great time. So we we started the award ceremony and, and the lunch was at... University. At the university from 11 a.m. So we'd stayed at the hotel and we, we had, luckily the bar opened early for us. So we had a, a couple of drinks with Craig and the gang yeah. at quarter to 11. We jumped in the cab, went there and straight away there were drinks and Canapes and all there of that. Gin I, there was gin available. A, there was a really was interesting gin there. What gin was that? Uh, I think it's something. Was it purple? Oh no, that's what it was. Flamingo. It was. <laughs> it was the Cornish Blue Flamingo gin. It was that. Which were, they were serving there. So yeah. we had some of that. We had some bubbly. Then we went and had the uh, start of the award ceremony. There was some meals going on in there. Some wine. food. Some wine. There was a lot Beer, of wine. Some um, cider. There was gins as well. Lots yeah. of gins. Um, and um, uh, she, we, we dragged her over to the table, sat there. Yeah, Annika drinking. came down and sat with us. Yep, and yeah. uh, we were so glad that she did. Um, oh, and then gosh. it sort of finished at about five o'clock, half four, four o'clock. We left there and went straight to a bar. A gin bar. A gin, a gin bar, bar in Exeter. Um, and we had uh, several different types of gin We in had there. such fun. And then we went on to a the Cocktail Club, if you know Exeter. So it was Crockett's we went to, wasn't it, for the yep. gym bar. Then we went to the Cocktail Club afterwards. Annika bailed by that time. Oh yeah, she, oh, she, she did. You bailed. Mind but... you, that wasn't until like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, but the, the fact is that we had such a great time with her. And the fact, when we'd met her at Junior Palooza and stuff, she was lovely. She and... was in business mode. Yeah, but <laughs> in, in kind of her own mode, 
my God, what a wonderful she woman. She is one of the nicest people what we've ever met on this journey. a wonderful woman. Absolutely love her. Um, she makes an amazing gin. Uh, it's a shame you didn't say... Two amazing stay. gins. We haven't tried this oh, one yeah, yet. No, well, we true. haven't tried that one, but we're, we're not going to bring that, that to you yet. True. And a Negroni, a pre-mixed... Oh, yeah, the pre-mixed Negroni, Negroni, yeah. Pre-mixed Negroni. Um, yes, so uh, uh, it, was, it was great fun. It's great, honestly, if you ever get a chance, going back to a review here, if you ever get a chance to meet distillers, I think it is important that you do because you want to see where your money's going. You want to meet these people and you also want to find out the backstory and what yeah. made them do it. Why did they take that leap? Because it is a big risk just because I go out and make gin. Yeah. And make any, There's a any, lot of gin out there. There is a lot of gin out there. There's a lot of gin out there and you, you have to compete against great big companies. Mm. But this gin is fantastic. And you want to see how did they get the inspiration because she's put things in here that have made this a very gin, uh, distinctive gin that stands out from others. It does, it does really stand out. And the fact is it's well, it won loads of awards. And I will be honest, <clears throat> so doing the research in this one, after we've met her anyway, um, I was like, right, is it just going to be a pepped up version of this one? Mm. So this one, is it going to be pepped up with that one? No, there is distinct differences there is a in huge the flavour profile, huge a huge difference. amount. And it is phenomenal. It's another great one. It's another gold award from the uh, great um, Taste of the West. And I think it is phenomenal. And actually hanging out with a distiller is really important to us as well because we we kind of get a judgment distiller oh my god did we get on and the fact is that we, so we, we sat down with. and said oh, we've actually reviewed your gin we didn't give her the scores we we purposely didn't give her the scores and we could have given her a zero she didn't know we we weren't going to do that and the fact is that we had such a great night yeah i mean you're lucky if you're if you're watching this that you bowed when you did because um oh we got messy afterwards oh. just just going back to that point the video is about the gin however um i am the worst person to go out because i i tend to i tend to hold my drink pretty well because oh, I'm, I'm a larger well. guy if we're doing one for ones and matching it i will get drunk way later than you and i'll definitely it's very rare that i show it isn't who, it who gets drunk first oh yeah uh, <laughs> Yeah, of course you do. And so anyway, uh, Scott and Craig from Mother's Ruins, right, who produces these gins, this gin here. Um, I have video of them <laughs> dancing in this, this bar we went to. They were producing reasonably nice cocktails. Um, and uh, yeah. With lots of people. With lots of people, know. even picking up a customer, the both of these, so Scott and Craig, picking up this customer that was sitting there and spinning him around, like l actually lifting him up and dancing with him to the point where security had to come over and tell him to put him down. And I have that on video, okay? It's great, I'm the worst person to go Bad clubbing moment. with. Because I film everything. Bad moment. Um, and they've since seen the videos and realized what a great night it was. It was a brilliant night. It was night. a great night. We met some amazing people in the yeah. awards. We were so glad we met Annika, uh, you know, there. Socially. Socially, socially. Yeah. Um, I would say, I'm going to say that, and it's very rare that I say a lot of these, if you're going to go out and buy a gin and give money to someone, give them to them. They're yeah. such nice people. And they produce phenomenal gin. Yeah. And it's really good. I, I'm I'm wavering now more towards kind of Devon and Cornwall in my in my gin I taste. I say they are producing yeah. some amazing stuff. And that's stuff. not ignoring my Scottish heritage. That's not ignoring that. But this this is phenomenal gin, and um, oh, we, we haven't scored it. Did we not score it? <laughs> we haven't scored it. <laughs> it's only because he's waving his hands like mad at the back. He's going because <laughs> he wants he wants feeding. That's yeah. the thing. Right. We're, we're treating him some food tonight. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Go. Go. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. Gotcha. <laughs> I knew you'd do that. It's easy, 11 for me. It's 11 for me. 11. It is a phenomenal gin, phenomenal flavour from a, a great, a great company. Mm. A, a, they're an independent, they're yep. small, and I think what they produce is, is absolutely amazing. Imagination and taste yep. is what it's all about. We're bringing you this one, a little, a little sneak peek. It isn't a bad gin. We'll do, I think we could do the pre-mix Negroni as well because we tried that and we bought it because we liked it. I can't wait for what they produce next. Ooh. Oh, oh. let's hope they, they do. do produce yeah. something very good. Right, do right. bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if you've had these 
and we'll see. And if you've been to Exeter, <laughs> go to the cocktail club. It's great. Cocktail bar. Yeah, croquettes. Croquettes. Croquettes, yeah. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 Cheers.